the teenager on the inside of me, like like far inside and many, many years ago, loves this shoe, like really loves it. As soon as I saw it, there was like this little teenage voice inside, like, I want those. Uh, they're just like awesome looking shoes for the teenager inside of me. And then the sort of sneaker channel guy inside of me was kind of offended by these shoes. And that's why I said in the title of this video that I love and hate these guys at the same time, man. Honestly, there's, there's just like, if it, if it wasn't a dunk, let me put it that way. If it wasn't a dunk, if it was just a standard Nike sneaker they came out with um, and it wasn't particularly anything, just maybe a new line, for example, nothing to do with any of the previous ones, nothing to do with the Air Force One, for example, dunks, anything like that. Just a brand new shoe. Well, let's call it the Nike Butter. Let's do that, okay? The Nike Butter um, uh, default. Uh, the Nike Butter default. Um, I look at this shoe and I'm like, yeah, it's super, super cool. But then, like, I look at the history of the Dunk line and I look at the summer that the Dunk line's having. Nike Dunk Lows, Nike SB Dunk Lows, Nike SB Dunk Low Pros, all across 2020 since, what, what, when, when did they first come out? Was it in the mid 80s, I think they first came out with the Dunk Lows. Uh, for all of that time, it's just been an iconic sneaker. And then something like this comes along and it's just like, it's just not a Dunk Low. It's not a Dunk at all. Um, but like I said, if it wasn't that, my little teenage brain on the inside would be all, all over these like a rash. But anyway, uh, I still need to have a look at these guys. I need to check them out, show you what the bits are that I like on them. And I would have liked if these weren't called a Dunk. Uh, and then some of the bits on it that actually might be like, you know, ooh, the Dunk guys out there are really not going to like these so without further ado let's get a close-up look at the Nike Dunk Low Women's Disrupt. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sticker Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Sticker Channel Day. This is my Nichi Upsurin over there. My Nichi Miji Design. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today what we're looking at is that shoe I love to hate. I wonder if I could put love and hate together like hov late uh like just a shoe that i'm just like mm, on uh and uh, and i'll tell you all about that in this video and look at some of the close-up details and maybe you can make a decision for yourself uh whether or not you like these guys or not whether you're offended by them or whether you're pleased by them uh make, you know tell me your opinion in the, the comments down below for sure um but uh, i'm going to show you the things on it that i like and uh and we'll get through that you know piece by piece so as i usually do i mean whenever i do these videos i do these every single day uh, i always talk about starting big and gradually working my way small there are some occasions and I start small and go the other way but today and as usual um, it's big to small um, so big is a, it can't get much bigger than this it's bigger than one of them it's all four of them there's four colorways that are coming along if I remember rightly it's a red and white a black and white a blue and white and a sort of triple white if you want to say that uh, and the triple white has one unique thing I'll just quickly fire it up right now because it's not uh, the other shoes don't have it is uh, that they're um, the insole has a kind of interesting color to it and most of the other insoles and we'll get to it later in the video have that contrast contrast between white and whatever the other color is in the shoe. If it's a white uh, and red shoe, then there's white, red and the insole, for example. But because it's uh, all white, then they have to go with something unique uh, on the inside. So just a little unique look at the insole on those triple whites. Um, and we'll come back to the rest of the stuff later. But um, yeah, whole uh, whole collection wise, all four colorways up there. Uh, and like I say, I, I, I'm not, I don't have much of a problem with these shoes other than the fact that they have the word dunk on them. Um, so let's have a look at some of those details. Now, the main thing I hope is it's somehow visible. I'll bring up a lateral um, and I think I'll bring up the blue lateral. I think that'll probably do a, a good job uh, and we'll look at the blue here and particularly what I want to look at and draw oh. your attention to is uh, the midsole and the outsole sort of collection on there because there's a stepped sort of effect going on in this shoe um, and when I looked at these from, from the lateral side uh, for the first time and saw that sort of stepped effect I liked it immediately but my very first thought was how are these going to look from above? Now I don't know how you guys feel about foam posits but I really like foam posits except Except from above. When you look at a foam posit from above, it kind of looks weird. They look great from the side, they look great from the front, they even look great from the heel. Even the outsole looks phenomenal on a foam posit. When you're looking straight down from above, it's like, hmm, it's a funky looking shoe. Uh, and uh, so when I looked at these guys and I saw the side there, that midsole with that sort of stepped effect going on, I was like, the, the whole shoe is going to hang on how these look from above. If you look down from above and that stepped effect looks like an almost pixelated shoe, we're done here. Uh, so it was the first thing I did. And here we go. Uh, I'll look at... Um, 
you know, a sort of uh, a larger view from above. And you can see that really, basically, that stepped effect on the midsole and the outsole, it doesn't translate into the upper of the shoe. Uh, and that surprised me and it pleased me. I like the fact that looking down from above, it really isn't that noticeable. I mean, it's not non-existent, um, but I was just wondering if it would be this big sort of chunky square thing. And I'd have been like, nah, that's not cool at all. But as it happens, uh, they've done a pretty good job on that. So the midsole with a stepped effect is a very big yes for me from both the lateral side and from above. But then if we flip them upside down, I think the blue ones uh, are the best one to look at this again on. Um, you can see that stepped effect is sort of brought into the outsole. Um, and you can see really where the ridges run along the edge of the outsole on there. And also how they've compartmentalized the different parts of the outsole uh, to match those different steps on the midsole. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. I think they've done a pretty good job um, doing that and making sure that that kind of, it's a semi-signature feature, uh, but it doesn't overwhelm the shoe. Uh, the other semi-signature feature on these guys is up on the lateral side, if we go to that ankle support that comes out of the heel cup, um, and you see it running right up the ankle to the top of the eyelets, and there's four eyelets up there. As soon as I saw this, it reminded me of these. Now, it's a women's sneaker today, and those are women's there. It's the Air Force One Shadow, uh, and that sort of I don't know, the ankle support that sort of boing, boing, bounces off of uh, the shoe like that. Um, it was just, as soon as I saw it, it was the first thing I saw and I thought of, and I don't know if there's a connection between the two sort of brands, Duncan Air Force One, um, but that was just, you know, my instinct and it's very, you know, unusual. It's definitely not a sort of dunk signature for sure. Uh, and then not too far away from that, you come down onto the midfoot. This is kind of one of my favorite features in the shoe uh, is it gives this really three-dimensional effect with that midfoot there because you can see the midfoot is sort of sunken into the shoe uh, with the mesh uh, and then whichever one, I'd probably do the red and white ones uh, behind me here with the mesh um, and the swoosh sort of deeper into the shoe um, than the leather that sort of sits on top of it. And it's not just a straight like leather on top of mesh. There just seems to be a bit of separation between the two. So like I say, that midfoot is kind of sunk into the shoe rather than just being flush to the outside edge of it. I think that's kind of cool. I really like it. Like I say, I I'd like it on anything but a dunk. And then another feature to go look at is, is let's go to the toe box and have a look on there because uh, uh, one of the features of Dunks is that they often have that fan sort of effect for the ventilation holes across the toe box. But as you can see here, uh, what they've gone for is the, the ventilation holes around the, the very outside edge of the toe box and nowhere else. Uh, so the central panel is solid, uh, but you've got those ventilation holes running across the very top edge of that toe box there. Uh, now on to branding. There's two particular things about the branding that I want to talk to you about. And so we'll go all the way from the toe box back up the shoe to the tongue. Now we're going to look at the tongue from the front first because the back has an interesting feature on it. So we'll start with the tongue and look at what's going on there. And it's very simple. I think I'm right to say it says Nike and a swoosh. I don't think it has anything else on there. I'm right, um, which the dunk guys are going to go mental about. Um, it has to have something on there Nike SB, Nike Dunk, Nike Dunk Pro Low, uh, in Dunk Pro Low, Dunk Low Pro. Um, you know, something that says Dunk up there, but just Nike and Swoosh or Nike if you're from the States uh, and Swoosh is like, mm. uh, and I think I'm probably still on the red and the white ones, or, or maybe I'm on something else, but whatever shoe I'm on, you can see uh, that you've got that um, color, you know, that duality between the white and the other color. And then if we go back from that and look onto the insoles. Now we're coming back to what I said before about the triple whites and how they had their unique insole going on there. Uh, you can see here that it's reversed. Whatever was on the tongue, uh, if it was red on white, is reversed on the insole. It's white on red and it's kind of got a... I, I like that. I kind of like the duality of that. Uh, but like I say, when they got to the triple whites and they were like, oh, okay, white on white, that's not going to work. So they had to be kind of creative about that. And speaking of the tongues, let's look at what I wanted to look. So uh, we'll flip them around to the back and first we'll take a look. Um, I'm, I'll probably be on the black ones because I know this looks good in the black ones, but the, um, the, the heel tab on the back, the heel tab on the back is very simple, very rectangular, very plain, just a plain piece of leather. There's nothing on it, nothing at all, no detailing, um, no embossment on it, no branding, nothing. It's a very solid piece of leather um, but what's uh, you know not solid and not leather and it's very cool is if you look past that to the back end of the tongue there uh, and like I said 
On the black ones, this really stands off a lot because you've got that unfinished tongue effect, so you can see into the sort of tongue foam on the inside. Uh, and I think I'm right in saying, like I say, the black and white ones give you that really sort of pop uh, of color off of the shoe, and uh, and you can see it stand against the black, so you get an idea of how much of the foam is visible, visible uh, from the inside of the shoe. Uh, now, I, I, I showed you one outsole. Uh, I'm gonna bring us back and look at the red and white um, version because they have a different outsole, which is a bit translucent and a bit icy blue on them. So I'll bring that back uh, so you can have a look at that. So uh, there's a bit of variance in what the outsoles look like on these guys. But other than that, I think that's everything there is to talk about on these shoes. Uh, so we'll look at the four pack again, boop, 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 the four different colors all around me there. And like I say, my teenager, my, the, the teenager hidden on the deep inside of me, uh, far on the inside, I'm 44, so we're talking at least 25 years ago if you want to go to 19, uh, but the teenager on the inside is saying, yeah, these are cool, uh, but then when it comes to sneakers, I mean, this dunk line, what are you doing, you can't do this to the dunk line, so... I can see the love for it and I can see the hate for it. And I'd love to know in the comments down below what you guys think of the shoe yourselves. Uh, for now though, time to sign off and get this video done. It's actually my little girl's birthday today. Yay! It's one o'clock in the morning uh, on Monday morning. So Sunday night going into Monday morning. Uh, and I need to get this video all tucked away. Uh, and instead of actually editing this video right now, what I'm gonna do is actually make one of her presents for tomorrow. Um, bit hard to do that when she's hanging around the place. So, uh, so I'm gonna chip off and get the old Ikea screwdriver working uh, and do that for my little girl happy birthday to her uh, and thank you guys for checking out the content and i'll just do what i do at the end of every single video which is remind you i do this every single day so you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow